going on guys, Jack here and I'm back for episode 88 of my West Ham United career mode and as you can see we are kicking things off with the second leg game against Sporting. Obviously it was a very difficult game, a very difficult game in the first leg, obviously we did go 2-0 down and that is two away goals which is um, not ideal but we did bring it back to 2-2 on the night which was an amazing result by any means of the imagination so we need to make sure we continue our form going forward in the Champions Cup and that's what we want to do our goal is to win the Champions Cup we're not here to make up numbers you could argue that we're probably one of the better teams in this competition after getting the advantage over Bayern but PSG have also got advantage over Bayern as they go into their home game also so they got two away goals at the Allianz which is just incredible but off topic we go into the game here against Sporting they got a really good side they're such a hard defensive unit to break down we need to make sure we're on good Form. But it would be Manor that gets onto the ball here. 24 minutes would be the first actual real time something would happen in this game. And the cross would come in and Perrin would hold on to it. That was actually the first chance, guys. Nothing really happened in this game. But a few minutes later, the game would start hotting up a little bit as Benteke does get played in. Great position for him. He shoots, but Patricio does make the good save. He misses the follow-up header and Sporting do get the ball away. Adrian Silva then would get onto the ball. Great play from the Portuguese man as you find Jao Moreo into William Carvalho, who plays it into space to find Cedric, obviously the man that has gone over to Southampton. It falls to Jao Moreo, takes the ball down and blasts that into the bottom corner. West Ham are in a real, real trouble now. 1 0 down to a Jao Moreo goal. Two goals in the Champions Cup for him. That is an absolute blow for the Hammers. And right on half time, they would win a corner here. We've got a bit of attack in there, getting a little bit worried about this game. But the ball does come in from them. They play it in, but Perrin does hold on here, thankfully. But into the second half, Spoink would start off strongly yet again as Adrian's, oh, Diego Capel crosses the ball in to find Mane. Mane plays it back into the path of Jao Moreira, the first time goal scorer, but he does miss on this occasion. As Benteke puts the ball over the top to try and pick out Hernandez, takes the ball down. Hernandez goes through on goal, gets taken down in the box. Referee points to the spot. The Hammers win a penalty, and this is a ticket back into the game. Can we take it? It is going to be Chicharito that steps up here. Come on, you Hammers. We need this goal here. We need to find it. It is going to be Javier Hernandez against Rory Patricio. Who's going to find the back of it? Who's going to get the advantage? Steps up. Oh, it is saved. That is absolutely gutting. How the how on earth has that even happened? As Mahuli gets onto the ball now, he would play into the path of Javier Hernandez. What can Hernandez do here? Takes the shot. What a finish that is. Cool, calm, cool and collective. And uh, he definitely makes up for missing that earlier penalty. 1-1 one, one on the night. Free for an aggregate as, as it stands. Sporting are still going through though, guys, because they've got two away goals. It doesn't matter that we're level on aggregate. The away goal rule is coming back to haunt us here. We need to make sure we stay on on track, we need to keep attacking, and we do make a couple of substitutions. Gonzalez, Valencia, and Amari all come on to the pitch, but we're into the 90th minute now, guys. This is the last tack of the game. Nothing has happened. They've been holding the ball in the corner. Valencia gets taken out from behind. Referee points to the spot. It is now a West Ham lifeline. It's a West Ham penalty. They're down to 10 minutes. If we score this, we could all but be going through. And what courage this takes for Javier Hernandez to step up here. He needs to put this in the back of it and he has missed a penalty prior in this game. This is a massive moment for West Ham United Football Club and it's down on Chicharito's shoulders. Can the man that come in on January be the hero today for us? He's been the hero since he's joined, but can he do it here? It's Javier Hernandez versus Rui Patricio. The Mexican steps up, puts it to the right, like left side of Patricio, well, right side of Patricio, left side of the goal from our angle. What a goal that is, and West Ham have booked their place in the semi-finals of the Champions Cup. What a moment, what a momentous occasion here at Sporting. I can't believe it. Seven goals in the Champions Cup. West Ham United are going through as it stands. And if they get a goal back, they're down to 10 men. They have to play extra time with the whole of the 10 men. They put the ball into the box. It's held by Perrin. The game would come to an end. West Ham have done the impossible. Not really the impossible, but they have made it very hard. My word, what a performance. And, you know, it would be so gutting if we get to the semi-finals now and not make it to the final. Because after that performance, I feel like it's destined for us to do it. We got absolutely dominated in that game. But we made 20 tackles. The team defended so well against a team that's so hard to break down in sporting. Believe me when I say that, they are one of the hardest teams I've played this season. And I've played the likes of the big six in the Barclays Premier League, as you call them. And obviously, I've played um, the likes of Bayern Munich and Real Madrid last season also. But as you can see, we do make it through along with PSG, Man Manchester United and Real Madrid. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to get the upper hand and who we're going to get in the semi-finals. It's going to be a very, very momentous occasion, no matter what. 
and whoever we play. We do get 5 million for going through into the next round, which is good to see. And uh, Fabian Shah wants to play in the next match coming up, which I've got no problem with doing. We can rest some of the boys that played in that game. Obviously, we played in midweek. We don't want to tire and um, get the players fatigued. So Fabian Shah definitely will be coming in for this game. Here's the bench for the one against Newcastle here. Martin Moore uh, making the likes of it. But we do start with Valencia and Hernandez up front. For Keir, Noble, Gonzalez and Schneider make up the midfield. Bertrand, Musacchio, Shah, Fabino and Perrin make up the team. It's going to be a very interesting game. We're at St. James's Park. Newcastle, I don't know how they're doing this season. We're going to see the Barclays Premier League table coming up very soon. Um, I don't think they're having a really bad season. I think they're about mid-table, if I'm being honest here. As you can see, yeah, they're in 8th position. You know, a win here could take them above Arsenal, which would be a very big deal for them. And even above uh, Liverpool, if they drop points also. So... Newcastle could still have a European chance here if they perform here today. Here's their team. Not a bad team by any means the imagination. Also, Suzuko, Teote, uh, Cabea, um, Di Santo, all great players. But the first chance will come from Nabil Fakir, who tries to chip the goalkeeper there from a really tight angle. What a save that is. But from the resulting corner, Fakir would pick it up here, play it on the edge of the box to Schneider, who plays it into the path of Gonzalez. The Mexican gets into some space here, does play it into the path of N.A. Valencia, and the leading goal scorer will put the ball just over the bar there with a tame effort. West Ham again will come on the attack, though, with Mark Noble now. The Englishman does really well here to get past Teote, plays it into the path of Javier Hernandez, links up very well with N.A. Valencia. Hernandez going through on goal, past the goalkeeper, but Elliot sticks his hand there to make the save. Great performance there from him. As his Zoko gets onto the ball now, um, mix up at the back, it would fall to Musacchio, only because it's far, far as Elic, who puts it onto the post. That was a miss of the season candidate there. How on earth has he missed that on that occasion? But West Ham still on the back foot as the Magpies are putting a lot of pressure on us here. It falls into Hydro, puts it into the box to find Franco Di Santo, into Sissoko. What a save that is from Perrin to prevent that from going into the back of the net. The game still at 0-0. West Ham now into the second half. Looks like a great start as Nanders does get played in. It's Chicharito through on goal. Rans the goalkeeper, puts it into the empty net from a very tight angle there. In all honesty, he made that a lot harder than he had to. But we ain't complaining. It's West Ham United that are 1-0 up here at St. James's Park and it is courtesy of that man Chicharito. Good good finish from him in that on in honesty. <laughs> and I'm very pleased with that. I, I really am. Eleven goals in the BPL this season. He has had such a revelation since joining West Ham. He really has. But I think Benteke has got a bit more goals than him actually since um that they, they both joined in January. But Sissoko puts a great boy over the top into final Illich and it does go wide of the mark there. Again, still putting pressure on us. Newcastle coming to attack with Illich yet again. Plays it into the path of De Santo. De Santo does really well to hold the ball up. Plays it into Hydra. He shoots just past the post there. But Newcastle are knocking on the door as they come in the attack yet again. Johan Gouffrey onto the ball now. Cross it all the way into the back post. Would find Illich. Plays it into the path of De Jong. Falls to Sissoko. Off the post. De Santo's there. No one picked him up. Newcastle draw back level with just 15 minutes left to go in this game. It is Franco De Santo with the goal. Obviously, the former Wigan man that spent some of his time in the Bundesliga does show up big here for the Magpies. All square at St. James's Park and 11 goals also for Franco Di Santo on level with Javier Hernandez. Very interesting. So we do go to a 4 triple 2 Cayuto, Bahuli and Wilson all come onto the pitch. Can we get a result we are looking for? Let's wait and see. Cayuto completely um, dispossesses Teote there and plays through N.A. Valencia. It is 2 on 1. West Ham in a really good position here. Cross goal. Colacini misses it just. Wilson punishes 2-1 to the Hammers. 10 minutes left to go in this game. Oh my word, this guy here, oh this episode should I say, is an absolute mouthful, it really is, there's so much to talk about, so much drama, it really is, and what play here from the Hammers, it was just brilliant, what a well-timed finish from James Wilson there also, you know, he still had a lot to do to put it into the back of net, but he does get his 8th goal in this campaign, which has been a very... You know, he hasn't appeared much in this season. But the ball comes in from a corner. Fabian Schaar gets there ahead of everyone. And, of course, the man that requests to play does get the goal here today. 3-1 to West Ham in the last minute of the game. That That is all she wrote. Newcastle are not coming back into this one. What performance. What a great performance. Mark Noble right on the money there for Fabian Schaar too. No chance for um, Anita on the line there. Uh, I don't know what Elliot was doing. I don't know why he thought he could get to that. It was way out of his reach. But no, take nothing away from him. He's had a good performance today, the Newcastle goalkeeper. It could have easily been more than three. But the last chance of the game would come to the Hammers. Cayute will play the ball into Musacchio, who turns away from his man, does play it in to Fabian Shaw, into Enne Valencia, turns away from his man, shoots. That would have been a stunning goal if you found a back net there. But the game does come to an end. It is 3-1 on the day. West Ham get three more important points on the title charge. And it's looking ever more likely that we are going to be the Barclays Premier League champions now. There's no way we're going to lose it unless we lose every single game towards the end of the season. Which I personally cannot see happening. It's ours to lose. And if we would lose it, it would be the most embarrassing thing to happen to us 
all season. It really would. But Valencia would pick up man match. Good performance from him. And we are continuing. Like I said, we are continuing the dominance. I don't think there's any team that is better than us at the moment in um, in England. We are definitely just on form. We really are. And Fabian Shah shows his appreciation for playing in that game. But guys, that is going to bring an end to this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to do smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. I really do enjoy that you guys like this series. And hitting that like button shows me that you are um, want to see more too. So thank you ever so much. Also, if you are new around and you haven't already, it only takes a couple seconds out of your day, guys, to hit that subscribe button. It really does help my channel grow, and I really appreciate it. Like I said, we are clear at the top by eight points it is absolutely just crazy and we're looking to continue that going forward thank you ever so much for tuning in guys i'll catch you all in the next one peace